come over to Aaron via our Drossen, uh, which we stayed uh, the other night over here for a few nights and then we're going to go on to um, Mull of Kintyre for another night and then on to the Isle of Isla for a further two nights on the camper van so we're very excited about that weather's looking meh, we'll see um, not too great at the moment uh, but hopefully we'll get our waterproof so we'll do some walking some photos if I can get the camera out if it's not too torrential we'll just see what the weather allows um, but the first time we've been over here so we're going to explore uh, as much as we can so exciting times <laughs> stopped raining finally so we're making the most of it going for a, a little little walk some various waterfalls that we're checking out which is lovely it's supposed to start raining again just after lunch so we don't have too much time to explore but uh, so far so good absolutely gorgeous areas and uh, you really do have the place to yourself there's no one around it's lovely uh, so we're just heading up to uh, a lock that we were a, a local person we asked for directions told us about uh, to go up here she says it's absolutely idyllic so we'll head up there it's just a mile off the loop that we're doing or the waterfalls and um, yeah hopefully get some more photos there Falls is absolutely spectacular. Hopefully you can hear me, it's very windy and obviously with the falls like that is thunderous. So I'm gonna get on set up, take some photos, quick talk through about what my plan is. I'm gonna do a panel but panel down because it's such a huge drop that I'm not gonna be able to get into one one shot. Uh, might be able to do a uh, portrait and two shots but going to be a very narrow shot that way when I've stitched them together so what I'm going to do I'm just going to do landscape and do about four or five shots tilting down which means I'll have to rest my tripod right against this just to uh, to be able to get all the way all the way down there with the shot Another successful walk, uh, again to another waterfall. <laughs> kind of picking up the waterfalls quite a lot here. Um, it was, what was the name of it? Glen Rosa, Glen Rosa, uh, which was, it's just a really kind of nice uh, set of falls with the backdrop being Goat's Fell, which is the highest peak in Arran. Uh, so it really frames it perfectly. Goat's Fell is right in the middle. It's quite a kind of conical shape. Um, so with that as a backdrop and these, kind of uh, lovely falls washing over all, of, all the boulders. It would made for really quite a nice photo. There is a popular spot where a lot of people take the photo from. Um, so I did that as well, but it was quite tricky to get a good balanced composition um, just because I think maybe there's usually more water. So the, the coverage of the waterfalls is a lot more central. Whereas because of the water being low, I think, um, the, the water was kind of slightly off to the side and there's a huge big boulder in the frame as well and there's no real way of getting around that unfortunately but just before that textbook shot of uh, on the Glen Rossa looking up to um, Goats Fell there was another shot that I just kind of stumbled across because it's slightly off the path and that balanced up a lot nicer and the way the waterfalls were there it's, it's, it's a wee bit more dramatic um, seemed like there was more water falling over because it split up 
uh, and then rejoined into the pool below. So I'm actually more excited and happy about that one um, to see how that one comes out. Um, but yeah, again, fantastic day for it, dry. Really just lovely, it's so peaceful and so still here. It's absolutely gorgeous and a very easy walk. So really chuffed with uh, those little waterfall findings. That's our trip over and done with, finished. Uh, we're now on Isle of Isla, just at the, the port, um, Port Askeg, ready to head back to the mainland. So it's quite a lot, it's a four hour ferry journey back up to Oban. Uh, and from there we'll get in late and we'll just head straight home after that. But it's been absolutely fabulous. The past couple of days have been a bit wet, not an awful lot of photography. Actually, I don't think I've done any photography here. I've taken a couple of pictures just with the medium format. Um, but uh, quite limited with the, uh, because it's just been, it's, it's been a bit of a washout. But it's been lovely exploring. We've pretty much covered every road um, in the van uh, to, to see all the different different areas of, of Isla. It's a beautiful place, absolutely gorgeous. Very dramatic with the weather like this. This is the kind of clearest it's been actually. Um, but yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic and hopefully get some nice photos on the back of it. Uh, so until the next trip, the next journey, wherever it may be, uh, I'll catch you guys later on. See ya.